Look how huge. Man. So we usually do things when it's stressful. We don't get the camera out, but this time we decided to get the camera out. We're at Custer State Park in Custer, South Dakota. And the campground that we were able to book for tonight it's four miles off the main road and there are two tunnels one of them is only eight feet high and the other one is 12 feet high the man we talked to wasn't sure which one came first so if it's the very first one we come to we should be able to squeeze underneath it and make it to our campground if the first one we come to is eight feet we'll just have to do a u-turn and come back so that's what's going on we're hoping we make it to our campground but this is a little stressful, and uh, we'll see. But I know you're stressed out. I'm very stressed. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Maggie's just sleeping. She I guess that's. She's to get out of the van. She wants to go find some bison, and we've seen a bunch of deer and other things, but that's all we've seen so far. The park is beautiful, though. It's just it is. stressful getting the campsite and getting to the campsite. Yeah. But, so that's what we're doing. Maybe we'll be able to show you making it through the tunnel. Or maybe we'll show you getting stuck in the tunnel. Well, I hope not. Let's not do that. Not going in the tunnel. Yeah, if we're not sure, we won't go in. <laughs> so we're riding along, and I'm telling you, <laughs> that of all things, this makes it worthwhile for sure. Look at this. Can you see that? Two males, wild buffalo. Man, how cool is that? How cool is that? Dude, that is awesome. <laughs> oh man, that was awesome, wasn't it? Yeah, that was awesome. That's just awesome. Uh, first our first one. big Buffalo. wild species on the Alaska trip. Yeah. Wow. All right, now let's see if we can get through this tunnel. Cedar Lake, next right. Center Lake. Center Lake. Center Lake Campground. Are we worried for nothing? Yeah. So after a long day of driving, we were both really tired. So we just turned into our campsite, rolled the windows up, tucked in for the night. Our first morning waking up here and we're taking Maggie for a walk. And then we're going to head over to Mount Rushmore and see what that's all about. But this place, this place is beautiful here and we know why it's so popular. <music> took a side road trip to uh, Mount Rushmore which is kind of cool and we booked like uh, race car drivers to get here and now we're resting for three days costs uh, ten dollars to park there's no entry fee and they kind of segregate you by whether you're a car or a bus or an RV small RV or and, big RV and we got in the small RV section uh, ten dollars and if you're 62 or over it's five dollars yeah so that's kind of cool it's really cool it's um like a historical monument that's been on our bucket list so yeah. 
Yeah, you can see it over our shoulders here. Kind of neat and really close to the Custer State Park, so about 20 miles away. So we're going to head back there now and we are take showers and maybe drive through and see what kind of wildlife we can see. Mm -hmm. Maybe stop in the Custer town. That looked yeah. like it was a pretty cool Apparently place. we're going to stop at another town. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it does look like a cool place. All right. Wanted to show you what we're doing. Kind of cool. It is. Thought we were just going to be driving to the Canadian border, but we actually got to do some things we love to do. Which is cool. It's good to be able to stop and, and enjoy the, the surroundings. Yeah. Another thing checked off the bucket list. That's right. After getting back and resting for just a little bit, Lynn, Maggie, and I decided to try out the 22-mile nature loop inside of Custer State Park to see what kind of wildlife we could see. Holding close, holding tight, let the moon slowly take over on night. The sky's never been clearer than now. A little lights float around. A million fireflies that never touch the ground I see your pretty eyes light up as they fly away Heading towards town I've seen a thousand suns, too many pretty sights have crossed my way But you'll always be beautiful, a little boy a little girl playing love games in the middle of it all. A little kiss, a little touch, yeah, it's all it takes, no for sure. Auburn eyes, a single bed, staring at the ceiling, slowly lean your head. Put it on my shoulder and I close my eyes. Praying for this night and never I'm trying to figure out if I need to get the crap out of the way. That was really cool, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, we drove 22 miles and didn't see any buffalo at all. No, we did. We saw the herd, but... Well, you're right. You're right. We did see one herd from a long ways off. But uh, coming back to our campground, same place we've seen buffalo every single time. And we just saw deer just then, and Lynn, Lynn was wanting me to slow down, I think, take another picture, and I just went, eh. Once, once you've had a sphincter tightening experience where a buffalo comes walking at the, your front door of your van, uh, that's a different experience than stopping to take pictures of deer. Which I don't think he got it on, on yeah. video because he was too worried about it coming to the van. Knocking us out of the way. I think he was Probably. wanting us to leave. We were infringing yeah. on his privacy. We, we stayed there too long. Yeah. So, that's cool. It was really cool. And, we're glad. We're really glad we came to Custer State Park. This has been a wonderful experience and something we'll remember for the rest of our lives. And it's just the stopping off place to get to the place we're going to be amazed. And it turns out that it's we're easily <laughs> amazed. <laughs> we're easily amazed. Well, I don't know. I don't know how many people would not be amazed by buffalo just coming up 
right at your door like that out in the wild. I don't. I, I think maybe we are easily amazed, but you know, if that's if that's true, then so be it. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Glad to do it. Hey, look, there's a chipmunk. <laughs> so this morning we're going to use our new Coleman camp stove for the first time. It's just Owen's idea. So we're going to let him That's set it up. Saying, if it sucks, it not <laughs> no. Yeah. No. But we wanted to try it out. We're going to cook breakfast on it. We're storing it up in the Thule. So it's not taking any room on the inside. It has one burner and then a griddle. I guess I'll be using the burner this morning, I think. Yep. What do you think? I like it. But I like it when we got it. It's pretty cool. Yep. Yeah. It comes in its own little carry bag, so that makes it easy to get up and down off the tool. Yeah. Alright. Take a really good picture of it because this is as clean as it's ever going to get right here. I know. That's what my big downfall of these things are. They're hard to clean. So we've said before that Maggie's pretty spoiled, but while we're out here cooking, there's a smell of Canadian bacon and eggs, and you'd think for a dog she'd be out here begging. Let me show you what she's doing while we're doing all this. How you doing in here, Maggie? You pretty comfortable? Did we wake you up too early today or something? What's going on? Okay. Canadian bacon, eggs and cheese. So why is this important? Well, for us, it's important because we have a little van. You can't both be in there at the same time while you're cooking. It makes a mess. And we've always said the van takes us to places, and then we go out into those places and we enjoy them. The cooking stove out here means we're more just, just like we're camping in a tent, but we don't have any tent poles and we're outside eating. I'm gonna shut up talking and start eating myself. Let's see. Before it Lynn, gets cold. Lynn's gonna do that too. Does it look good? Mm -hmm. You gonna do the first bite? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Mmm. Well, right. mm -mm -mm. See, it cooks good. She didn't do her head like I do. I always go, mm. why didn't you do that? <laughs> One of the great things about traveling around in our van be the people that we get to meet. Like Craig Stinson, who was camped right beside of us, and when he heard that I play guitar, well, he got his guitar out, we sat around the campfire, spent the evening singing songs, and we'll share those songs with you as we end this video. Thanks for being part of our journey.
down to the police station Gonna turn myself on in For all the bad things Lynn's been doing I ain't gonna ever do them again Seven old dogs in the backyard Six cactus strings on an old guitar Three days straight I've been put Every nickel I make in a mason jar Seven wilds on the cold fires Six blackbirds fly somewhere Three days straight I've been thinking I just don't really care Like a wandering gypsy, I could be poor like a fat wall that loves. I could be first, I could be last. It's not who breaks a ribbon, it's how you get across. I could be a red, blue, black, and white sunset, dark as that day, man, and bright as that night. I could be the sun, I could be the moon. I made it from the stars and I'm shining so bright. I'm singing a lot, da 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 Town in Missouri, it could be anywhere. It could happen right here on the street. In fact, it happened here. And it could happen where you're sitting, wherever that might be. And it happened last weekend. It's gonna happen next week. And when they turn that boy over, we're surprised there was no gun. Physics at your fingertips, standing at the summit. There's a man with the joystick, runs a rocket on a coming. We're standing at the age where the imitations are forgotten. The outer edge is always down to love, but the inner core is rotten. And we're standing at the precipice, with your hate and fear. We trust science just as long as it tells us what we're going to hear. And in the truth, of and for subscribing. Maggie says happy tales. Be sure to find us on Facebook, Instagram, and on the web, Van Trading Lifestyle. Thanks for being part of the journey.